So how many of you are looking into buying a new model car, have a new model car, or are just buying a car in general? Any of you? No? Okay. So um, uh, according to um, I think it was autoblogs.com, um, there was a there was a fact that said um, 14, 14 million Toyotas in 2015 were sold. They were Toyota Corollas. So it was the number one car sold and it hit 14 million in 2015. So I decided to do it on Toyota Corollas. Um, and I'm going to be buying my first car soon, so I'm kind of debating in between if I'm going to buy like around a 2009, 2010 car or a 2015 car. So I'm going to be talking about the cost of maintaining a new model car, the cost of maintaining an old model car, and then a new engine versus an old engine. <coughs> so I have some uh, statistics right here showing that around an average of how much you would pay for a new model car um, throughout five years. Um, so uh, a new Toyota Corolla is around $17,000. Um, and then if you buy a used, it would be from $10,000 to $13,000. Um, so all of this, it does not include the, uh, the whole buying the new car. This is just like over time, how much you're going to spend in repairs, insurance, fuel, gas, all that. Um, and then, so the cost of maintaining an old model vehicle is um, slightly cheaper, I found out that. Um, yeah, they're supposed to have like a uh, lifespan, I think of like 15,000 mi 15, miles a, a year, but um, you can still use a, uh, there's still like good cars that you can uh, maintain. If you're able to maintain them good, you're able to have them for a long time. So like say you're, you know, I'm a college student, you guys are all college students. You know, a 2003, 1998, 1999 car is still good. You're still able to, um, it'll, it'll be something affordable and it'll still get you around places. So um, a, a Toyota Corolla, uh, a 2003 Toyota Corolla is about $2,400 and $4,000. And then, so this is what you would mostly usually pay to replace some parts. It does not include insurance, but I know that for old model cars, insurance is slightly cheaper, so that is the plus. Um, and then I didn't say it before, but um, for a new model car, it, the insurance is getting more expensive as, you, as the year goes by, but after a while, it does start to go down. Okay, so a new engine versus an old engine. Um, this is a 2015 Toyota Corolla, right here, and that's a 2003 Toyota Corolla. As you guys can see, they are both 1.8 liters. They are both four cylinders. They have, um, the 2015 has the 140 horsepower, and the uh, 2003 has 130 horsepower. Um, there is a six-speed manual on the 2015, but it is optional. But usually they're um, four-speed automatic for both still. And then the only, basically the only difference is this is uh, 30 miles per gallon, and this is 25 miles per gallon. But if you guys think about it, you guys are still saving a lot of money on gas. So overall, if you guys are like looking into buying a car, I suggest you guys go to Carfax. You guys are able to see the facts of the car, if it's been salvaged. You guys are able to know what kind of car you guys are going to buy. Um, right here, also on auto123.com, if you're buying a new car, um, you're able to like find out and compare cars like all through the overall time. Um, so like, that's where I got this, this, this uh, statistics for this, I was able to find all of this. And then um, on www.edmunds.com, right there, you're also able to um, compare cars. You're able to see like also um, like the miles you'll be having on your uh, car and stuff like that. 